years ago on a Va bene, va bene, va bene. Ok. Chi era del primo plotone? Primo plotone che stavamo facendo la bonifica. Primo plotone. Oh, quelli che erano con oh, noi prima. Carrelliamo due volte. Quando la camera di cartucci si è tutto a posto. Uh, also, please don't rest your muzzles on the floor. Rest them on your boots. If we, for some reason, get a bump, uh, it can actually puncture a hole through the floor. It's Alright, last man on that right side, start getting on top of people. You... Alright, if you're on top of someone, get rocks. 30 seconds, guys, that was good. Certainly, certainly it, it sends a message of coherence and uh, capability to our NATO allies and partners. So, one within, two outwardly, certainly a capability that, that few can do. Right, and uh, that's, a, that's a message to any chronic threat uh, that we do have this particular capability amongst many, many others. For us in the Swedish Armed Forces, this exercise is very much about host nation support. Something that is pretty new to us, but is also very important, of course. And uh, being able to execute this exercise only two months uh, as, as uh, newcomers in NATO, I think sends a, uh, at least a strong message about the strengths and the possibilities coming with, uh, with us being part of the alliance. So during this operation uh, called Swift Response 24, uh, we have been planning since roughly around, as a battalion with the 153rd, we've been planning since I would say around September. Uh, from there, series of meetings, series of uh, working with our coalition allies and partners um, to make this operation happen. Um, there's a lot of logistics, a lot of pre-training to go into there, um, and then a lot of coordination, not only with uh, the host nation of Sweden, but also with our unit as well, uh, moving out from Apiana. What we are demonstrating is not only our capability, uh, one, working with our uh, allies and partners, um, and two, is to show that we are ready to deploy at a moment's notice.
we try within each exercise to, uh, to prove that we are able to do a lot of things that maybe uh, could be done during a, uh, during a conflict. And for this we exercise every time different kind of procedure techniques at different scales. Now, nowadays, is the moment, the proper moment to see something like this. The biggest and the most important message is that the NATO is here, NATO is everywhere that is needed in order to provide for their people a safe and secure environment. Swift response is an integral part of uh, Steadfast Defender and NATO demonstrates its uh, ability and capability to quickly react and respond and deploy forces. Paratroopers, um, you, you, you can bring them very quickly to uh, an area or uh, to a terrain to commence an operation or conduct an operation where you don't need an airfield. You just uh, insert them by parachuting. And this is why uh, still paratroopers have high value for NATO. And this is why we yearly conduct a swift response exercise. Once you board the airplane and once you're in the air, there is a little quiet in the air. Every paratrooper, you, you, you look around and you see the paratroopers, they are with their thoughts. Yeah? And then um, when the preparation start for the jump, it gets a little bit more busy and you can feel, you can feel every paratrooper wants now getting out of the airplane and wants to jump. And uh, nevertheless, there is always a little bit excitement and um, they are waiting until the light gets green, the horn sounds, sounds and the first guy gets out of the door. And all the others follow automatically. From the private to the general, all have go to the same door in the aircraft and at the par under the parachute there is no privilege of rank or anything, all are the same.